Hi everybody, this is Audrey. This is March 27th, 2021. This is Audrey Now Invites You. Growth, transformation, uh, bliss and fun, or bliss and joy. Today, first, let me give you my website and URLs so that it's complete. I want to get this done. I'm choosing to get this done within a half hour. Maybe that'll make it easier to upload to YouTube. Here's how to reach me. A-U-D-R-Y-E is how I spell my name. What am I? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm a being who's here on earth to upraise consciousness. I'm born knowing I came here to make life better. And is it a journey? Uh -huh. As well as to grow and evolve myself. So my main website is Audrey Now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W dot com. I am a clairvoyant, a mystic intuitive, an energy healer, a conga water, conga water distributor, an artist. See, this one behind me is called Inner Heart. Here it is. Here I am. And then there are smaller ones. They are all available. Inner Heart, maybe not. But they are, well, actually, you can get a chiclet. You can get a print on um, metal or on canvas or possibly even the original. I'm an author. I'm, I'm leaving something out. Oh, yes, my online courses and an astrologer. I'm a person who's evolving and growing, same as you. I mean, we're all here evolving and growing if we choose it. My other website is Audrey Now Water, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W-W-A-T-E-R.com. It'll give you a small demonstration, like 20 minutes, of Enagic Congo Water. And folks, if you want to be healthy, if you truly choose to be healthy, this is the water you need to drink. And it also makes a water that cleans pesticides from food. There's a water that kills viruses and bacteria. There's a water that's good for the skin. Yes, the skin has a different pH than our inner body. And many other uses. Those are only a few of them. And then my art can be, you can see it on AudreyNow.com as well as on different art, Easton Art Galleries, E-A-S-T-O-N-A-R-T-G-A-L-L-E-R-I-E-S.com slash profile slash Audrey Arby, A-U-D-R-Y-E-A-R-B-E. That's how Petrina Easton sets it up. And thank you, Petrina. And you can follow me, please do, on Instagram, Instagram.com, Audrey Now, A U D R Y E N O W. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash Audrey Now. So today we're going to discuss, or I am, now, when I learn how to do this live, I will. I'm doing this on my little camera video, and then I upload it to YouTube. I would rather go live, really, and interact. And I'm not doing it on Facebook Live, because then I think they own it. I don't want anyone to own my stuff. Me, not someone else. And someone can use it, but I'm a Cancerian. It's like... When my daughter was little boy, protective mom. Now she's a grown woman with kids and, you know, she's got it. I'm still there for her, but she's grown and fabulously. And so we have an adult mother-daughter relationship now. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about find the ism. Are we going forward or backward? 
And that's very simplistically put. So, by the way, I am open to be getting interviewed, podcasts, TV, video, print, whatever it might be. So do call me, 1-888-757-3223 or 917-494-0628. Audrey Now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W at Gmail. If I don't get back to you, it means I didn't know how to work the Gmail property properly, go to the website, audreynow.com. Thank you. So our affirmation for today is listen, take this in, feel it, embrace it, see what happens for you as you do that. I am, you say I am, I'm saying the affirmation. So for you to hear, I am a wonderful image of the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine androgyny in my perfect balance. I am a wonderful image and creation of the divine masculine, divine feminine, divine androgyny in my perfect balance. You are embraces so the balances can come together, so to speak, and what's correct for you. Everyone's different. I am a wonderful image of the all in all, which is the divine androgyny, the divine feminine, the divine masculine. We are pieces of that, P-I-E-C-E-S, P-E-A-C-E-S, of the divine Masculine, divine feminine, divine androgyny, in perfect balance for you. Mine is for me, yours is for you. And now sit comfortably, take that in. I'm gonna lift my frequency for a moment. And the breathing attunement we're going to do today is we're going to, oh, you can't see it. Okay, already that didn't work. Okay, we're going to be breathing. Okay, I'll make like this is the heart. You're going to be breathing into your heart. Then we're going to do concentric circles around your heart. And then your heart is going to be like a star emitting vibration. Okay? So if you have shoes on, take them off. By the way, only do this if you're in a position to really devote time to this. Not if you're cooking or cutting up an apple or using an X-Acto knife on your painting or whatever, driving a vehicle. Then pay attention to what's taking care of a baby. Obviously do that and then come back to this so you can really get into it. So sit comfortably. I'm going to lift my own frequency now to shift my energy and then I'll be with you in a moment. Normally I would take off my earrings, but I like them. So, of course, if the guides tell me I have to, I will. Sitting comfortably with your back straight, your head straight facing forward, but comfortably, not stiff, comfortably relax. Breathe in golden light into your heart. Hold and gently release, let go. Breathe in golden and pink light in a concentric circle around your heart. Hold and relax. 
release, let go. Now breathe in in another concentric circle outside of that, sort of like a, what might look like a target. And that is fuchsia and soft blue light. Hold and release. And one more circle. Breathe in blue and soft moss green and soft pale yellow. And release, let go. Now breathe in sparkling white and golden energy right into the core of your heart and emit that like waves of energy, like rays of light coming from your heart to the universe, to the universal heart. And that universal heart, goddess, God, source, whatever your words are, then sends energy right into you, into your heart. And it fills your entire being. And now take in a gentle breath of healing, sparkling white energy throughout your whole being. And release. Again, breathe in sparkling white energy, iridescent sparkling to your whole being and let go. We shall complete with you breathing in sparkling gold and silver white energy into your entire being. Hold and let go. Now before you do anything else, sit there. Feel how you feel. When you feel ready, you may gently, slowly, softly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. You may gently begin to move your hands on your wrists, slowly and gently. Your feet on your ankles slowly move. You may gently begin to pat your body, slowly move your shoulders, you may gently move your head on your neck, and when you are ready and your head is facing forward on your neck, Slowly, slowly, you may begin to open your eyes. Slowly. And notice how things look to you, how you see. You might now be looking with what we call soft eye possibly you might be seeing some auras or auroras they're different but you might be allow this allow your being to shift to higher frequencies and practice this practice this breathing attunement this week practice any of the ones that you learned from me practice Allow yourself to do this. This is on YouTube. You can watch this anytime. My gift to you. So, what are the isms today? Racism, sexism, genderism, homophobia, Islamophobia, uh, transphobia, anti-Semitism, genderism, ageism, ableism, speciesism, globalism, culturalism. 
where somebody, anyone thinks mine is right, yours is not, or I'm the only one, or I'm not correct. You are. Either way is inappropriate globalism. So, right now, and I'm doing this on March 27th, 2021. It's still evergreen. This is just a date. What I teach and do here, you can use anytime. There's no expiration date at all, Zip. So what's going on in Georgia? What is it? That law that was passed curbing voting rights. What do you think of that? To me, it's racism, making it harder rather than easier for people to vote. We need to have, in my opinion, 100% of people qualified to vote, meaning a certain age and their American citizen, voting, making it easy, especially pandemic. I mean, who wants to run around? Whether it's vote by mail or any other vote, Yes, we do have to prove who we are or that we're a citizen. That's why you register. Everybody register to vote. And then if you're going to vote by mail, which is what I do, or I have somebody drop me off to the polling place and I have filled out that document, fill it out correctly. Literally fill it out correctly and don't decide the day before the last day of voting. That's when you're going to learn. No, learn in advance. We have to become a country of responsible adults. Whether you're 18, 88, 108, or anything in between or beyond. We can't be ignorant. No matter what our complexion our gender or sex identity, they're a little different, identification, religion, any of that. And get yourself informed. So to me, what the Georgia governor did is racism, possibly also sexism. And he's curtailing, we're looking to curtail, from what I've read, the vote from non-white people, black, brown, beige, no, no. Why? Because he's Republican and follows number 45. And you have to know, and I'm saying this as a healer, as a professional opinion, that man, 45, is a sociopath. Not the one to follow. A liar, manipulator, predator, no. Okay, so that's number one. People are now coming up with new ways to define their gender. There are people now that aren't using anything to define their gender. With some people, there's uh, an outcry about having birth announcements and saying the baby is a boy or a girl based on what the body is. And they want everything gender neuter or gender fluid. I have to tell you, I don't agree with that. If I see a boy body, I call that person a boy. If I see a girl body, I call that person a girl. And as that person is developing without anyone throwing all kinds of what they have to be, if the person identifies differently than what their body looks like, then that's a conversation and we start looking at that and allowing that, if that's what they are. We can call it gender fluid. And whatever the words are, because they are shifting and changing. So as I'm writing and rewriting, <laughs> editing my ISM course, it's called Ism Freedom. Be free of the causes and effects of racism, sexism, and other isms. We need to be free. 
as a species. I mean, what happens when people start getting really deep DNA tests and you can find out if you also have some Neanderthal DNA or Denisovian DNA or any of the other, I will call them, they're not really homo sapiens as we are. They were other kind of proto beings that were around when our species, humans, were also starting up and there were some that just didn't quite make it and some that we're not even sure if they are there. So are we going to say this one or that one is better? Different. Different talents, different abilities, different possibilities, not necessarily better. So what's to benefit all of us? Acknowledging everything. Learning the gifts and talents and possibilities of each and how that can be of benefit to the person who it is, first and foremost, and to all of us. Yes. In terms of transgender people, there's many ways to look at that. I personally, I have this in my book, Raising Race Consciousness, Healing Racism, Sexism, and Other Isms, which, by the way, you get a free copy of the book in PDF form when you register for the Ism Freedom online course. Now's a good time to do it. It's a super special price. I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, I feel we need new language. I'm not so cool about calling people them. They, them. It's too impersonal. I know we're in the age of Aquarius. That is so, so what that age represents. But now we have people with respect and honor that can have the bottom part of their body, one sexual body identification and the top another. And they may identify in whatever way, gay, straight, fluid, binary, non-binary, cisgender, transgender. I feel we need language for this. I don't mean we have to always introduce, my name is so-and-so, I'm a binary or non-binary, blah, 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 blah. I don't think we need a whole thing. It could be just, hi, my name is Audrey. That's me. And then get to know somebody and whatever needs to come out, comes out because not everybody needs to know who it is you choose to have as your intimacy partner. And I know people who have shipped before so many of these operations that sometimes they were gay, sometimes they were hetero, Sometimes whichever person they loved, that's what they were. And they were fine with that. And they didn't feel, I mean, I know <laughs> these are people I have known. Healthy people, brilliant people, creative people, smart people. Okay? People who supported themselves, took care of their families. Okay? That kind of people. I know one person who was a guy, another person who was a woman. Different so let go of the judgment. You don't know what someone's karma is. You don't know what they're here for. You don't know, sorry, what goddess, God, source, Allah, great spirit, Oshun, the divine wants or needs them for. So that's an ism. What about the colorations of who we are? We're not just black and white and brown and red and yellow. That's ludicrous. We're not light black. What does that mean, light black? That means the person is mixed and no one is better than another. Different, yes. We're not identical. And I give thanks for that because then we have the option to bring more genius and more brilliance and more possibility to the table. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yes. It is. 
And when we reach the point where we're able to identify, and they exist, I'm telling you they exist, hybrids, people that are human, as well as from other planets. I mean, we're just starting to go to Mars. And if we get there, Elon Musk said 2025, I believe, another scientist, can't remember their name, said 2050, Musk, I don't know him personally, okay, so I'm just using these, Elon, wants to, uh, like, last domed cities first. This other, we've got pictures of what these could look like. So once we get to the point where we're living there, it's going to have its own bacteria. Everything does to some degree because bacteria can live in places that mm, most humans can't. So who knows what somebody's system and resistance will be. Maybe we're going to need people on some planets that have the gender or the sex uh, body of one kind on the bottom and another on top and that we don't know and if this sounds shocking hey and then read some of the science fiction of Octavia Butler brilliant woman I wanted her on my TV show in New York and by the time I realized oh my god and discovered her and reached out I believe she had passed away I was so upset such a brilliant, brilliant woman. I believe a movie is being made of one of her books. I hope they do a good job. Oh my gosh, I hope so. Anyway, so the coloration, whatever you are, and first look in the mirror and notice what you see. That's a clue. It's not the only clue because some genes are recessive, some are dominant. And you can have a child that's a different complexion than you. I did. Her father was dark. I'm light. She's golden. And sometimes certain DNA doesn't show up till a couple generations after. So the, the look of somebody is only one, but an important one way to see. And it doesn't mean if some is a yellowish color some is a brownish color, some is a golden, that one is better than the other. No. No. People that think that are insecure. This is going to be in the course in more detail so you could heal yourself. And then this other thing, capitalizing B for black and lowercasing W for white. No, that's racist. White guilt. Or black getting even. No, either uppercase them all, B for black, W for white, yellow, Y for yellow, B for brown when referring to that person as a race, or lowercase them all. I do. I've started uppercasing them now. I'm having to re-edit stuff I've written because he used to lowercase it all the time, so I'm playing with uppercasing it. So right now, because we're close to a half hour, I'm going to complete. There's much more I could get into. Think of how do you define yourself. And if you'd like to know more about my new course, which I am in the process of editing and rewriting as I do it, ISM Freedom. Be free of the causes and effects of racism, sexism, and other isms, please contact me. You can pre 917-494-0628. Audrey now, A-U-D-R-Y-E-N-O-W at Gmail. Right now it's $330. It's going to go to 600 in July. And my guides have told me then afterwards, they didn't give me a date. It's going to go to $750, so register now. And if you need payment arrangements, I'll create that with you. And you register using your PayPal to audre22 at aol.com. 
And if you didn't hear that correctly, call me. Call me. Let's make it happen. Subscribe to this YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. And now, blessings to you. May you live a life of joy, prosperity, wellness, contribution. Thank you so much. Please pass this video on. Let's go global and beyond. Thank you. Thank you.